Welcome back, everybody, and thanks for joining me. Today, we are going to continue using our Doodlebug Design 6x6 paper pad titled Lots of Love. If you've seen the previous video where we made a couple of cards from the paper in this paper pad, you remember that there were some scrap pieces left over um, that I said I would follow up and do another video to use up those scraps. Um, and that's what we're going to do in today's video. So if you haven't seen um, that video and you want to go back and check it out, that would be great. Um, as a reminder, we were able to make uh, a number of cards from this uh, paper pad and I will show those to you once again. Um, we do have these cards that are pre-made for sale um, on our site. So you can go over to our Facebook page and take a look at them there. We have two different kits. Um, this is one of the set of four that we have. Um, each kit contains four cards. I'll try to get them all on the screen here. Maybe it's better to go this way. Yeah, probably. This is the first card set and you can see this one contains, hello, you make me happy when skies are gray, sending my love and just a note to say, I love you. These are our pre-made cards. So if you don't want any hassle of putting any cards together, you can buy them already pre-made. Um, this set of four cards does sell for $12 um, shipped. The second set that we have pre-made are these four here. And this is, you bring color to my world, stay tuned for an important message, you're terrific, and sending you all my love. And in our first video, we did make two of these cards um, together with you so you could see how we assembled them. So in addition to these pre-made kits, we also have DIY card kits, exact same patterns that you see there, except for that they come in more of a DIY form. Um, what that means is that we pre-cut all of the pieces for you to um, assemble on your own. Um, it does uh, make it a little bit cheaper um, and, and you can purchase the same four cards and then and, uh, uh, put them together by um, on your own. Um, so again, those are available on our Facebook page. So go over and check those out. So as we made um, all of those cards, we did have a number of these two by six strips left over. We actually had 20 of these left. Um, and I was so excited to use up this paper pad. I got right to work to figuring out how are we going to use these 20 remaining strips. Um, so as you probably noticed yesterday, um, I think I shared, I do like using card sketches as um, a guide or some inspiration um, to creating cards. And I did that again this time around. So this is another um, OWH, Operation Write Home Sketch. This is B31. Um, and you'll know that notice that this will be an inspiration for the card that we're going to create. Um, a sample, because I've already created some of these, but I'll make one of them with you today. But a sample of this card is right here. So what you'll see is this is the uh, sketch, the way that it was designed and laid out. And I actually, again, use this as inspiration. And I turn the sketch to um, use up these, these um, rema remaining pieces that we had. So what I did was I used two of the two by six strips. One of them I cut one inch off of it. So it left me with, um, or a half an inch, excuse me, a half an inch off of the two inches. So I had a half inch and a one and a half inch. And that's what you'll see here with the red. And then this one I left whole and then I put that down the middle. Um, I did make them, um, they, they started at six inches, but I did cut them down to five and a quarter. So that's how I ended up using using two of these strips to make one um, additional card. You'll see here I had some remainder um, of the cut apart. So on this particular one, I used a cut apart. So on some others, I used um, stamped images, so on. So I will share those with you in just a little bit. So let's go ahead and um, put this sketch aside, bring in uh, some of our paper here and go ahead and assemble one of these cards to uh, finish using up these strips. So I'm going to start by making my card base, which is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of white cardstock cut in half um, and then folded and scored to create our side fold card base. As you probably remember from yesterday, I do like lots of layers. So I'm going to start by cutting a solid um, piece of cardstock for my base layer. I'm going to pull in my small paper trimmer here. 
And I am going to, I think this is already cut, yep, to five and a half with just an eighth of an inch taken off. And I'm gonna to go to a traditional four and a quarter and take another eighth of an inch off. I do have like to have that white border around the edge. That'll give it a look just like that. All right, and then using these two strips to make the base of my card here, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this down. As I said, this is six inches long. I'm gonna cut it to five and a quarter. And then this one, I'm going to take, it's two inches currently, I'm going to take a half an inch off. And then for this one, I'm going to just cut this one down to the five and a quarter. I'll move my paper trimmer out of the way and let's go ahead and get this assembled. All right, so what this is really gonna do by cutting this piece of paper in half the way that I did is it's almost gonna make it look like this um, tone on tone X's and O's goes across the entire back. Um, it's gonna give that illusion. You really would never know that the entirety of that um, piece of cardstock wasn't behind this pretty pattern paper, um, but that's how we can stretch our remaining cardstock. All right, get this last strip on here. And there we go. So again, it gives the illusion that this uh, tone on tone X's and O's is one solid piece and that we put the rainbow pattern paper on top. But really, um, we know that this was just a two inch strip that we cut in half. Now to help hide these, um, where it meet where the paper meets each other. I do like to bring in these outline stickers. Um, these ones happen to be from Crazy Creations. So I'm going to bring those in. Um, there are a number, I think, of other companies as well that have these types of outline stickers, but I like to use these a lot. So I'm just going to bring them in here and help to hide, again, where those two pieces of pattern paper meet. Oops, and I'll bring in my X-Acto knife and just cut that off. And then grab one more of the outline stickers and do the other side. I think I mentioned in my last video that I like to bring glitter um, in some way into almost every card that I make. Um, and this is one way, again, to bring something. It might not be glitter, um, but it's definitely shiny. Uh, it gives a little bit of glitz, I think, to the card. And there we go. So now you that those... Um, where those two pieces of paper meet are, are completely concealed. You cannot tell, um, again, that we cut those pieces of paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and adhere this to our card base. All right, and bringing in my um, my sketch here, I wanted to bring something into the middle here again, just as a focal point. In my sample card that I made previously, I did use uh, some of these remaining cut aparts. We only had a couple of those, so they didn't go through all of the cards that we made with these remaining strips. Um, so for this one, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring in one of my dies, and I have a scalloped die here that I'm just going to cut out of some white cardstock, and I'll be right back. All right, so here's that scallop cardstock, and I'm just gonna bring in a, a stamp set that I happen to have in my stash. Uh, this happens to be the Sunny Days Ahead stamp set from Close to My Heart. I'm sure you all have some type of stamp set that would make, um, that would work for any of these patterns that we have. Let me get a block. Because we have the rainbows and the clouds on this one, this stamp, sets, uh, stamp says, you make me happy when skies are gray. So I gotta find some ink here. So bear with me just a moment while I get my ink pad out. I think I forgot to pull that out. I did. Okay. Use our peacock ink here. Looks like it would go well. Pull up my sleeve so I don't make a mess. 
Let's ink this guy up real well. Looks good. And then we'll stamp that down. Give that just a moment for that ink to transfer onto that scalloped die cut. And there we go. Close that up before I make anything inky. And then the other thing that I would like to do to this, which you could take this and, and put this right down and it would be just perfectly fine. Um, but I'm gonna actually bring in some color around the edges of that die cut. I'm gonna bring back that stamp pad and use that same color. And using a blending brush, just a piece of scrap here to some of that off. Just gonna flick the edges here, just to bring in some color to make that stand out against when I paste it down. You can hear that little bit of flicking motion that's happening. All right, there we go. Again, just, just a little way to make it stand out a little bit. So let me add some adhesive to the back of this. And we'll go ahead and place that about there, making sure that it's straight. Okay, and there we go. So again, using just leftover uh, strips that we had from making our original cards, um, we were able to make an additional 10 cards using these strips. So let me share those with you now. Um, so I, I made two of each. So of course, we just made this one together today, showed you this one um, as our sample. So again, this was using one of the remaining cut aparts. Here was another remaining cut apart that we had. So we made that guy use this one with again another uh, die cut and a stamp, a very special delivery. And then this one with a number of die cuts, I pulled in a heart die and a be mine stamp. So five um, additional cards, 10 really, because I duplicated them to use up uh, the remaining pa uh, pattern paper that was left. So in total, uh, we had this uh, 24 page double-sided cardstock six by six paper pad that we were able to turn into a total of 30 cards. So I think that's pretty good, um, 30 cards for one paper pad. Thanks so much for joining me. If you're interested in any of these cards, please feel free again to check out our Facebook site. Everything is available there. Um, and we'll be back again soon with another card. Have a great day.